Now, here's the thing, sir. You are a very good owner, both of you, and I want to be clear about that, of Kodak. And if I had any concern about that, I wouldn't have taken this case. And I want to be clear that you both understand that there's no criticism of the care that's been given to this wonderful dog, and you invested in it very carefully and thoughtfully. Understood? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. You ended up not staying with each other for a very long period of time. You moved in in April, and I think it's right to say, Tia, by November, you'd split up. Yes. What was the straw that broke the camel's back? Why did you end up not being able to live with one another? Um, I just got um, very bored being in the house all the time, cleaning. Didn't work out for you either, is that right? No. Who left the house, Tia? Was it you or was it Sean? It was me. Now, what happened to Kodak at that point? Kodak stayed with Sean. Understood, but here was a difficulty. You were going back to your mum's house, correct? <coughs> yeah, pr now, later on, yeah. Understood. Now, were you able to take Kodak with you to your no, mum's house? We've got two dogs already, so... So the answer to that question is no. Now, mum wasn't in any way unkind about it. She explained to you it just wasn't going to work. That's correct. You decided to find another home. Yeah. for Kodak. That's you right. were going to make sure that it was a good home. Yeah. What's more, there's no criticism of this at all. Kodak had a very high value. You'd already spent £2,000 and subject to finding a decent, thoughtful and caring home, you were prepared to accept a good deal less than you paid for Kodak in the first place. Is that right? That's right. Half. Half the price. You wanted to sell Kodak for £1,000 but you didn't advertise the dog. No. You came to an arrangement with Tia. Tia, what was that arrangement? Um, so, Sean said you can have the dog for a thousand pound and i said that's absolutely fine because i love the dog i had like a really good bond with kodak um, i didn't want him going anywhere else so i was like that's absolutely fine and sean said just sort of pay it me when you've got it just pause is that correct pay it when you've got it not quite she did say she'd had a little bit of a lump sum at first but i didn't get quite get what she said she had no. So it just ended up coming in dribs and drabs. It did come in dribs and drabs. I didn't want to just take out all the money, obviously, because I wouldn't leave anyone like that. Now, the important thing is this, sir. Did you ask Tia to sign a document of any kind? No, there was no contract. To say, no. I hereby sell Kodak to you for £1,000. No. And I'm prepared to wait a certain period of time before you have all of the money to pay me. No, there wasn't. Sir, why did you not do that? Because I just thought, because of the relationship we'd had, that it would, that would have run a little bit smoother than it did, that was all, but... Now, here's the thing. To be fair to Tia, you do not dispute that the initial agreement was for £1,000. And the good news is that you also accept, and Sean, you've provided me with some evidence, that between January 2019 and April 2019, so roughly over four months, Tia paid you, I think, around £400. Yeah. However... What happened next is very interesting in law, and in fact, and I don't understand it. When she'd given you this £400, we're now about in April, I would have thought, was there a discussion, a further discussion, with you and Tia about whether or not she owed you any more money for Kodak? Uh, there was arguments, really, disputes, but, well, she's always owed me the money, hasn't she, you know? It's... Tia. Did you have a discussion with Sean about that £600? Yes. What discussion did you have? So, Sean said to me, I want you out of my life. Um, you don't owe me this money anymore. Forget about it. What were the circumstances that led up to him saying that to you, madam? Um, Sean was sort of seeing somebody else. He just completely wanted me out of his life, so... In other words, don't worry about the £600. I will ignore it and forgive it to get rid of you. About right? Yes. Sean, true or false? Yeah, that's true. I could say that. Well, what did you precisely say? I said, at the end of the day, I just would rather you just... We left it, forget about the money, and we'll just go our separate ways. Thank of. you, sir. It's an honest thing to say, and I believe you. I really do. Did you hear what he said, and did you assume that the debt was forgiven at that point? Yes. Understood. Now, can we go and get Kodak, please? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, because the dog is Tia's property, I have to ask Tia whether I'm allowed to meet him. Yeah, of course. Please, you may can. I? Thank you. Sorry. No, try the stairs. There we go. Oh, hello. Is he okay to be picked up? Yeah, of course. 
Oh, he's done exactly what all French bulldogs do. Do you know what he's just done? What has he done, Tia? He's farted. He has. Kodak. <laughs> 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 it's me. <laughs> 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 Way. He clearly loves you as well, Sean. Do you get an yeah. opportunity to see him? Yeah, yeah. So, well, I haven't really. I haven't really, you know, been about to see him because it's just... It's Understood. A little bit awkward. Michelle, would you take Kodak out of court, yes. please? Yes. Good luck. Follow me. Yeah, probably. Come on, then. I'll see you out there. <laughs> Come on, this way. That's it. Come on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> Well, nobody, nobody can accuse Kodak of being camera shy. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.